Hello. Hello. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Amy. And you're watching Food Mania. Reviewing. Um, today I'm in my Hello Kitty robe and a beanie because one, I didn't do my hair today, and two, I'm too lazy to put on an outfit. So. And today I'm wearing a Fisbo shirt and a Jimmy Kimmel sweatshirt that is from when you were like seven or six years old. And it's, you know when you have something that it's like one of your favorite things to just wear around the house and you mm -hmm. wear it out and it starts to come apart. It's literally starting to come apart at the seams. I'm really sad. Yeah, you do like that thing a lot and you've been wearing it for a very it. long time. Oh, it's sad. Look at that. <sighs> this is basically my robe. I wear it like a robe. Uh, okay, everybody. We have an Easter episode. So we have Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Um... Mellow top. So it has marshmallow on the top, I think. Marshmallow. Oh, it's marshmallow flavored cream God. with milk chocolate. So I guess it's just like a regular Reese's peanut butter cup, but the top. It's probably just going to taste like white chocolate and it's going to be nothing. But that's what I was kind of thinking. I mean, I hope they don't make it funky tasting. Yeah. Um, we'll see, we'll see. But we like white chocolate. So. Well, you've had the white. Peanut butter cups, right? Yeah. Oh, good. Individually right. wrapped for your enjoyment. Just smell the whole bag together. It's like. <laughs> oh, it smells kind of like bag weird. and candy. I know it's weird. And then. How does it look? Oh, it's in a little. It's the same size as a regular peanut butter cup. So then it's like. I will try. It kind of smells like a marshmallow. Kind of. Okay, ready? One, yeah. two, three. Shows. Yes. It's marshmallow flavored more than white chocolate. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. I think it's good. I think it's good too. I mean, it's not like overwhelmingly marshmallow -y flavored. But I kind of like it. It just sort of mellows out the chocolate. It doesn't really even taste like a marshmallow on top. It's just kind of like. Just like a tiny bit. Get like a it's kind of like a different flavor to it. So Aubrey's on spring break now, officially. How does it mm -hmm. feel? Good. <laughs> You're so close to being done with eighth grade. How mm. does it feel? Miss Anderson Emmons, you're almost a ninth grader. How does it feel? I don't even know. I just want summer to start. Yeah. I think we're all kind of ready. Um, things are getting better COVID wise. Uh, I'm now fully vaccinated. Thank you very much, Pfizer. And um, they say it's two weeks after your second injection that you're like fully okay. Uh, I don't have any side effects at all. That's good. So that's good. But still be careful. I have friends who are still getting sick. People are still dying. I just found out that one of my best friends in Colorado was in the hospital because she got it and that's really sick. She's okay now, but you still have to wear a mask. You still have to wash your hands. You still have to be careful. You still don't go have like a rave. Imagine if you didn't like wash your hands in general. I'm sorry, anyways. Like, even before the pandemic. Yeah. I still can't believe guys don't wash their hands after they go pee. Yeah, I guys. can't even. Look. I. You need to wash your hands after you go pee pee. Period. Period. And we're not talking to those of you guys who do wash your hands. There's some women too. You ever like in the bathroom, like in a public restroom? And you hear like somebody leave the stall and then they just walk the heck out. I haven't personally. Oh my gosh, I totally have. And I, I feel like just shouting from the stall like, you're gross, but I don't because <laughs> I'm trapped in a stall with my pants down. So it's kind of a vulnerable position to be in. Um, or I've heard them like leave the stall and then just go over and like 
turn the water on, like, rinse, 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 and leave for, like, two seconds. Like, obviously, they didn't really soak and wash their oh hands properly mm-hmm. at all. I've, I've heard that many times. Gross. But they've done lots of studies and, like, undercover, like, hidden cam things where they show in men's bathrooms. Men, like, overwhelmingly do not wash their hands after they pee. In a public restroom! A lot of issues right now, guys. A man that I know. Um, who, who shall remain nameless? Um, we'll name this person. Um, Frank. 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 <laughs> Frank told me that, like, he was like, because I think like he like came out of the bathroom, and then like he was washing his hand, and he was like he like turned on like the sink for like one second, and walk, like walked away. And I'm like, hey, why didn't you use any soap? And he's like, because it dries out my hands. And I was like, what do you mean? Just wash your hands and then put lotion on. Like no. Anyways. Oh boy. I worked in a restaurant, folks. This is why restaurants. I'm telling you, even the nicest restaurants, they're all gross. Um, I mean, I love restaurants, but you just kind of have to accept that they're just, they're gross. They're not the kind of level of cleanliness that you would have at home. Uh, I worked at a restaurant, this was years ago after college. This was in Minnesota, and we were having a very similar conversation to this about like washing your hands after you go to the bathroom. And this one girl, her name was Larissa, she goes, I, I don't understand like why I should have to wash my hands like after... I go to the bathroom. It's not like I'm touching myself. The toilet paper touches me, not my hands. She goes, I mean, I do, I do. And I'm like, uh, yeah, right. Nice backpedaling there. She's like, I do wash my hands because I mean, I know I'm supposed to because I'm at work and everything, but like, I don't understand like why it's a big deal. I'm not like wiping myself with my hands. I'm like, oh my God, really? It's because public bathrooms are disgusting. Well, and even like, yeah, you're touching the toilet when you flush. And then she's like, I flush with my foot. I don't touch anything. I'm like, You touch the door handle going in there and going out. I mean, there are only certain bathrooms where you can, like, elbow your way through everything and, like, squat and flush with your foot and all that. But, like, people are gross. (laughs) Why are people so gross? Mm. Hmm. We're not gross. Aubrey knows I'm a little little bit of a germ-phobe. Not, Mm -hmm. like, super germ-phobe where, like, I'd never leave the house or not OCD. I don't. She goes like, okay. It's like, I have like really bad. Okay. This is like not even like a knee free thing. It's just kind of like, because I like forget things like really easily. Like, I just forget. And then, like, when Colin's like, oh, I'll come back to that later because I'll remember. And then I never remember because I always think I'm going to remember. And she's like, how are you, you going to look in the sink? See what you look in the sink? No, I, no like, here's, the, here's the thing though, Aubrey. It will be like two, three days later. <laughs> And you've looked at it over and over. Like, let's well, I say... I still don't know it's not. I'll be like, oh, it must be mom's. Or like, I'm like, I literally forget. I'm like... Or the other day when you... She brought her trash can from her own personal... Bedroom. No, don't even. I know, I know. And she emptied I meant it to get it, like... Into the days. large trash can in the kitchen, which is great, because then she took the bag out to the garbage can yeah. outside, which is like, yeah, I didn't have to ask her to do it. She did it. And then she just left it open without a new plastic bag in it and with her trash can just sitting there in the middle of the kitchen floor for like an entire day. And no, like, I put like the thing in like, for the, I like soon the afternoon. <laughs> you just, I don't think that's a word, dude. Yeah, no. Soonly. <laughs> that's like an Asian woman's name. <laughs> Soonly. <laughs> and we can say it because, okay. Anyway, um... You didn't do it swoonly after. <laughs> frequently after. No, the improper use of frequently. Yeah, no, I knew that the second I said it. I was like, this, be, this feels not right. I was like, this it means no. that you did it with like, a, like with a regular interval, like a lot. Frequently with Amy and Aubrey. And we did it often, rather, not regular interval. Um, Yeah. But, you know, overall, I mean, as far as teenagers go, like, you could be a lot worse. I mean, I, I have some friends whose kids are, like, disgusting slobs. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to hear who after this video turns off. Well, and, like, I was a slob when I was little. Like, elementary school. But 
more, around your age is when I started getting like, not like a neat freak, but I liked things tidy. It really bothered me to have stuff all over the place. So, and I'm somewhere in the middle now. Like I, I would love to be a neat freak, but who the hell has time for that? I don't understand those people whose houses are just like perfect all the time. I don't know how they do it. Like literally, cause I'm, well, you know me, like literally I like leave things out and I forget to put them away. So like when it comes to my room, I will clean my room and get it done. Like if I want to, but literally I cannot keep it like that. Yeah. Like, it's a mess by the next day. <laughs> exactly. You're like, she'll be like, Oh, it looks so nice. And then like the next day she'll walk in and it will be like completely different. Like, yeah. I mean, whatevs. It's not, I, I like, we have like a pretty good balance in our house. Like it's not dirty. The, the main thing is like, it's not dirty in here. It gets yeah. a little cluttered every once in a while, like, or things will pile up here and there and stuff. But like, we, we make sure it's not dirty. The only dirty thing is, is like, there's out. like dog hair like on the floor, like 24 seven, but like we vacuum. Well, I constantly am cleaning it though. Like if you went around yeah. now, it's not bad at all. And like in my I mean, bathroom, every day I like, vacuum the floors. Every day. I vacuum like my floor like every week and there's still like piles of hair just like laying on the ground. That's like your hair. hair. What? That's your hair. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, I thought you were talking about the dogs. I thought you were like as talking on the dogs again. <laughs> oh, no. The dogs are like, what? Come on. It's your hair, dude. Yeah. But. Um, somebody, one of our, our back door is open and I smell like grilling. I know. I, I went outside and I was smelling that. Uh, we are having Costco meatloaf Milo for dinner with a Reese's Our dinner is better than peanut yours. butter cup appetizer. Uh, what else are we going to share with everyone? Oh, we got back from our big road trip. Oh, yeah. Which we posted a little bit about that. Oh, Keenan just texted me. Anyways. Hey, Keenan and Brendan. We visited our friends, the Meads in hey. Norman, Oklahoma. And uh, they have two daughters, two daughters, two sons and a daughter who are kind of surrounding Aubrey. Well, one is this little, just the same grade as Aubrey. One is yeah. finished high school and one is- I uh, can't believe he's turning 19 know. this year. That's crazy. Anyway, but the mom of the family, Stacy, has been my friend since seventh grade for 30 something years. So that's insane. <laughs> Um, and we had a great time. We had a lot of fun. The driving got a little cuckoo. Like, we started getting a little slap happy in the car here and there, but... I'm not even joking, like, what is it called? Like, on the way to, like, Oklahoma, I remember, like, 10 or, like, 15 minutes before I was about to, like, pull up in the driveway. Like, I literally lost it. I don't <laughs> even know why, but I lost it. And my mom was like, what, are you just, like, nervous or something? And I literally don't even know why. That's what right, I, was, like, I forgot about that. You did kind of lose your mind. I just started laughing. <laughs> um, we had a really good time. We missed them, so we're going to uh, try to get together with them this summer. We will get together with them we this summer. We will. It's going to happen. Making it happen. Mm -hmm. And Aubrey's about to go to Tennessee for a trip with her dad, which means I will be um, relaxing. Probably crocheting, -up style. succulents, and... Yeah, you want... Look what I made! I just recently learned how to crochet once again from youtube videos and then also from a book and i made little macarons aren't they cute <laughs> they're called amigurumis they're cute aren't they uh stuffed crochet toys so anyway i'm working on something cool and i'll show it to you when I get it done. And I know these are not my normal glasses. These are sort of my backup glasses because my other glasses are getting new lenses because I'm going more yeah, and more blind every why. day. I was wondering why. Yeah, they're wondering. at the eye doctor getting new lenses with my new prescription. prescription. My favorite. But this is your favorite? This is my favorite McGraw. You know why that's not my favorite? Because that was messed up the thing on the top of the fridge. Because that was my first one and I was learning how to read the pattern in the book and I did it wrong. It's so cute. But it's still cute, but this one is correct. <laughs> <laughs> of course you like the one that's correct. <laughs> I do. All right. And it doesn't even make a difference. It's like you can barely even see. I see it. Because I know like, what's wrong with it. I'm like a master crochet person look at them was like, master you did crochet. the wrong stitch. I don't even know. Like, it's like, you did the wrong stitch. This is a bad macaroon. Oh, like, like, you know, just throw her on the ground. I'm sorry. What is on the ground? What's, what's happening? Are what? you doing something? It's Pismo. What are you doing? What are you doing? on the ground? Oh my god, what's happening? What? Ah! what is that? <laughs> Ew! Did he just eat half of a wrapper? Oh, I think he did. Oh, Pismo! Oh! 
He's mad too, trying to take it away. Come here. It's dirty paper. Oh my god, I got Ow! Ouch! It's in my finger! Did you eat it? Spit no, spit it up. Oh. It's, oh, your breath is so gross. Do you see? Go, Aubrey, help me. What are you? How do I get it out? Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. How is it in my finger? You know what? Just let him. He's, he's going oh to hard. Let him, here. No, <laughs> I can't. No, I can't. It's in his mouth. Oh, Mo. He is mad at me right now. Dude, he's eating one of these peanut butter cup wrappers, and he's so mad that I just took half of it away from him. His breath. Oh, he lost those teeth. Look. <gasps> oh, no, no, Wait, no, no. That's just his weird teeth. Oh, it's gone. Oh, okay. He swallowed it. Me now me. he's like, and I love you. This dog is disgusting. He's well, fine. no, look, he thinks he's getting more. No. He's all excited. All right. On that note, we should probably say goodbye. Yeah. But, um, so, uh, you know, our channel has been really growing quite a bit. We... Got like over this last month, like over 1,200 new followers. We're almost 32,000 really? followers now, um, which we know it's not huge. Nobody's making money off this That's channel, so just right. FYI. But we're still just having fun. Like enough to like buy snacks for doing, the channel. Yeah, we like, make enough to like buy snacks. And oh, what are you doing? When he's licking my elbow. He's just sniffing you. Um, but thank you for being our viewers and oh, for leaving okay. always like such nice comments. And if you leave mean comments, I just delete you because I don't really care. I'm not here to get in a fight with people. And um, also, there was something else I was going to say. I don't know. Follow us everywhere else. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. Buy our toothbrushes. Go to earthmania.com. What else? About it. That's All about right. it. But thanks so much for, for following us, you guys, and for being awesome. We love you. And um, oh, that's what I was going to say. Happy spring. And um, if Easter. you celebrate Easter, happy Easter. And for those of you who just had Passover, hope you had a great Passover and all that fun stuff. And oh, and like happy Persian New Year. That just happened too. Oh, I should have said that to Elizabeth. Anyways, so much geez. stuff. Yeah. It's just that time of year. So, all right, that's it. Thanks, you guys. These are pretty good. They're not like, wow, amazing, but I can't. I, I prefer the originals, but still. But, but they're good. Something fun. Yeah. They're different. Give them a shot. You need I'm... a little bit of spice in your life. Because <laughs> <laughs> variety is the spice of life. All right, well, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Amy. And, and you've watch been watching Food, Food Mania, Mania Review. Review. Bye, naughty little dog. Oh. So